I'm excited because I've been waiting almost a year to get this painted artist proof back and I just got it and I want to share it with you guys. The artwork for this card is one of my very favorite pieces of art from the 90s and the card has a really crazy story because the artwork was stolen and then it was recovered and I was lucky enough to get to see the original Alpha artwork in person and I'm going to share some of that footage with you guys today. What's up, it's Jared the MTG Ninja. Welcome to another video. So if you're new to the channel, let me just give you a little bit of context about me and the videos that I make. On my channel, I make videos about Magic the Gathering and specifically about the art and the artists of Magic the Gathering. So if you check out some of my previous videos, you'll see I've done some interviews with artists. I've done some tutorials on how to do altars. So go check out some of those videos. And if you haven't yet, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't yet. Now, like I mentioned in this video, I'm gonna be opening up an artist proof that I've been waiting for for almost a year and so I'm excited to share it with you guys and I had the cool opportunity to be able to meet the artist for this artwork at MTG Summit last year and so I was able to meet with him and talk to him and his wife for a little bit and also they had a really cool surprise at MTG Summit they had brought some of their original artwork with them and one of them was the artwork for this card and so I'm gonna share a little bit of footage of that as well so let me go ahead and open up the package and while I'm doing that I'll share some more context with you so here is the package that I got in the mail. And um, this is from Anson Maddox. And so if you guys can try and guess what the artist proof is, I would be impressed. But uh, yeah, so the, the original card was in the alpha set. Um, this isn't the first edition proof that I got because I don't think he has those anymore, at least for this specific card. This took almost a year for me to get back just because, you know, some of these old school artists, more popular artists, uh, they're just so in demand that they get backed up doing these things. So many people want work done and they also have other work going on, of course. And so, yeah, some, some of the waits are even longer than that. I've heard of other people that have been waiting three years, even more than that to get um, their painted artist proofs back. But um, yeah, so let's, let's take a look at it. Um, and then if you, if you look at the painted back first, you probably should be able to guess what the card is, but yeah, let's let's take a look. So here is the painted back. Let me just take it out so we can take a better look at it. Um, and I'll take it out of the sleeve as well, just so there's not any weird reflections going on, but there it is. So you can probably guess what the artwork of this is based off of that. A little different composition than the actual card, but there is the actual card, Animate Dead. And this is a revised version, which I actually had bought even before I commissioned this painting because um, sometimes you have to do that and you have to get the, the blank artist proof just a little bit earlier than the commission just because, um, yeah, they have wait times and you gotta get in line for that kind of stuff. Sometimes they don't even have commissions open. And so just to get your artist proof before they sell out or before they go up in price, you have to get the blank one first. And so that's what I did with this card. So I ordered this blank Animate Dead uh, a while ago, and then um, I mailed it back in so that I could get this commission done. So that's that's pretty cool that you know he took the original art of Animate Dead and kind of did a different composition, a little bit closer perspective on one of the on one of the uh, skeletons looks like maybe he's got like a, a sword or something too but then the same guy kind of animating him 
in the background. So really cool. Again, this is one of my favorite pieces of art from the early days of Magic and really love that original artwork. And speaking of the original artwork, uh, it was really cool to be able to talk to Anson and it was really a pleasant surprise to to see that Anson and Brenda had they had brought the original artwork for Animate Dead with them to MTG Summit. I don't think any of that was announced beforehand and so it was a, a really cool surprise that they had it there. So really cool to see that original artwork from Animate Dead in person and to get to meet Anson and his wife Brenda there at the event. Yeah, and while I'm talking, I'll just kind of show some of that footage, but... And I know that the artwork for Animate Dead has an interesting story as well, and I don't know all of the details, but I know that, you know, in the early 2000s, Anson had a lot of his artwork stolen. And, and this is what Anson actually said on his website. It says, The artwork was stolen from a secured room within his residence by a relative of the person he had entrusted the care of his home to. The thief was not personally acquainted with Anson, but their identity became known when an employee of a local store, who purchased much of the artwork, came forward, providing details of the crime and expressing a willingness to testify in court to the information provided. And so because a lot of that artwork had been stolen and sold off, a lot of other people ended up with that artwork. And so I'm sure they had to do a lot of work to get that all back. but this animate dead piece was one of the pieces that they were able to recover so a super sad story that all that got stolen because i'm sure it caused a lot of stress and heartache and a lot of work for anson but really glad that they were able to recover some of it and even after going through all that it was super cool that they were willing to bring some of that original artwork to the mtg summit last year and it was super cool to be able to see the that animate dead original alpha artwork in person and really glad that i have this little piece of unique art from anson that goes along with one of my favorite pieces of artwork from the early days of magic thanks for watching hopefully that was fun to open up that package with me and see some of that footage of that original artwork that was at mtg summit if you haven't yet make sure you hit that like button and subscribe leave me a comment down below what is your favorite old school art and i'll see you guys in the next video all right